Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're going to be doing a Khan Academy tutorial on decompose area with triangles. This one's been giving my students a little bit of fits, so let's go ahead and break down how to do this. So each one of these shapes is going to be a composite figure, which means composed of more than one shape. So the first one says the following figure is made of two triangles, just as I described. Find the area of each part of the figure and the whole figure. I think the toughest part about this Khan Academy exercise is figuring out what the dimensions are for each shape. This first one is actually pretty easy, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how we find the dimensions relatively easy for this one. Uh, here we have a triangle on top, and I'm going to draw it over here for the second one, a triangle on the bottom. In my opinion, one of the first steps you're going to want to do is redraw the shapes. So if you're having difficulty figuring out which shape belongs with which, redraw them and then label them. So let me put redraw and label. Okay, so I'm going to redraw, already re redrawn, uh, this red one. Okay, and that corresponds to the one on the top. And I have a height of 9, that's perpendicular, 9 degrees. And that is a base of 7. Um, that's supposed to be the 9 degrees, and that is 7. We don't know the units, it's not important. Now the area of a triangle is one half base times height, or as I tell my sixth graders, is base times height divided by two. They both get the same result. So if I plug it in here, if I do nine times seven, and then I divide that by two, I'm not gonna get a whole number, and that's okay. Because I know that nine times seven is 63, and if I divide that by two, I don't need a calculator, first off. I know that 60 divided by two, I can break this down into to its components, is 30, and I know 3 divided by 2 is going to be 1.5. So if I add these two together, I get 31.5, and that is my area of that triangle, 31.5 units squared. So there's my area of triangle red. We'll call it triangle red, okay? And that was this one right there, okay? Now let's move on to the blue triangle. Here we see that the height is 5. Okay, that's what that's about. It is telling me the height is 5. And you might think, oh, it doesn't tell me the base. It does. It shares the base with the other one. So that 7 belongs to both bases. So this is also 7. Now, still the same thing. My area of the triangle is going to be base times height divided by 2. So in this case, it's 7 times 5 divided by 2. That's 35 divided by 2. Yes, you can divide 35 by 2. It's not an integer. It's not a whole number, but we can do it. Again, I would break it down into its components. I know 30 divided by 2, and I know 5 divided by 2, or at least I should. I get 15, so 15 goes into 32 times, and then 2.5 goes into 2, 5 twice. And I just need to add those two numbers, and I get 17.5. So I have 17.5 is my area of the blue triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and type both these numbers in. So I have 31.5 for triangle A, 31.5, and then 17.5 for triangle B, and then the whole figure. When it says whole figure, it's just asking for the sum of both those. So I need to do the 17.5 plus the 31.5. So 31.5 plus 17.5. Yes, I know there's a lot of steps. It's not that bad though. Okay, there, I don't think the numbers are going to be any more difficult than 0.5. So I have uh, 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1, that's what that was. I do 7 plus 1 plus 1, that's 9, and then 3 plus 1 is 4. So 49 units squared is my, whoops, supposed to be a 4, 49. Okay, and I should be able to check it, and we're good to go. Okay, this is actually called the trapezoid, and I'm going to show you why the trapezoid um, is a pretty useful figure in how to find the area of it using the rectangle and triangle. So, and then I'm going to introduce the formula and show you how that works real quick. Okay. Um, so this is a good problem because now we're talking about overlap. So the rectangle is easy. Let me do the rectangle in red. So the rectangle is easy because we have the dimensions. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wait, is it 13 or nine for the side of the triangle? Well, it's nine. Okay. We're only talking about this distance from the top to the bottom of the rectangle. So the area for rectangle is length times width. So that's gonna be 
9 times 5. This distance 5 is the width. And that gives me 45. I don't use the 13. What is that 13 then? Well, let's talk about that. This is probably the most difficult part of this Khan Academy. I mentioned it or alluded to it earlier. Is that we need to figure out the overlap in some of these measurements. If we know that whole distance is 13, we know this distance for the triangle. We're going to do the triangle in blue, by the way. So area of the triangle is going to be in blue. We know that's base times height divided by 2. But what is the base? Well, we know the base is 5. There it is. This is going to be the same base all the way down. Okay, So that's going to be 5 all the way down here. So each one of these distances is going to be 5, 5. So this base of the triangle is also 5. But what is this measurement? If I'm going to redraw it, that was my first step, right? So over here, if I redrew this, this was 5 by 9. I knew this was whoops, 5 by, what's that distance right there? Right here. I need to figure out that. I know the whole distance from here to here is 13. I know this one is 9. And you'll see that I have this missing gap right here. Well, I can do some quick math to figure that out. I know that it's going to be the overlap, 13 minus 9. Okay. How much more do we need to add to 9 to get to the full distance of 13? That's another way to think of it. In this case, it's 4. Because 9 plus 4, right here, 9 plus 4 is going to be equal to 13. Therefore, my height of my triangle is 4. So I'm going to do 5 times 4 divided by 2. That's 20 divided by 2, and that equals 10. So now I have that my rectangle is 45, and then my triangle is 10, and I'm done. Okay, so we have 45. I got 10. And then I can combine them to get 55 for the whole figure. Now, real quick, I want to introduce the area of a trapezoid, and I'm going to do that in green. I'm going to clear off this space. So this is actually a trapezoid. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only one set of parallel sides. So notice how it's not a rectangle because this side slanted. That side is flat. Okay, Only two sides are parallel, meaning going in the same direction, and it's those two sides. So we have 9, 13, and then 5. Those are the only three distances we actually need. In a trapezoid, what we call these two uh, parallel sides are bases. So this is, could be base 1, and this could be base 2. And we call this our height, just like a triangle. Okay, And then the formula for a trapezoid, I'm going to do this no more than 30 seconds. Okay, I'm trying to draw my trapezoid here. The area of a trapezoid is your base 1 plus your base 2 times the height all divided by 2. Okay, or one half a base one plus base two times the height. Okay, so if I were to add these two together, I'd get base one plus base two, that's nine plus 13, times my height of five, and then divide by two. Nine plus 13 gives me 22, and then multiply that by five, then divide by two. Okay, and then we'd get, uh, that is 110. Okay, 22 times five is 110, I divide by two, and I get, 55, which is the same thing I got right here. So if you're working on another problem and you have a trapezoid, you can just go ahead and use that formula right there and it works for you. And I'm just glad I could show you how it works. Ooh, I'm so glad I got this one. This one it looks super difficult. It's helping out a little bit by giving you some of the measurements. So we just need to find triangle A, triangle D, and then add up all those numbers there, okay? So triangle A, how do we figure out the dimensions? Remember, step one was redraw. So here's my red triangle right there. Okay, so I'm going to redraw it. One of the measurements sticks out that we know pretty clearly, and that's four. Four is going to be my height, what I'm going to call my height. That's a right angle, so it's a right triangle. And then I have two here, six here, missing distance right there. So I think the biggest thing is sometimes it's unclear what some of these measurements refer to. This distance is 6, okay? So for this little triangle D, that distance is 6. This is 2. And you can see here we have a square. Okay, so this distance here is 2. So I can move this distance up there to 2. So now I have, for the whole thing, right here, this whole base, I have 2 plus 2 plus 6. And that's going to be my whole base. If you add those up, you get 10 for that distance. So now I have area equals of my triangle, base times height, that's supposed to be a triangle, divided by 2, 
That's 10 times 4 divided by 2, 40 divided by 2, 20. Okay, so I know triangle A is going to be 20 square units. Okay, moving on to triangle D. Triangle D is this one. This one we already know the measurements of. I'll do this one in blue. So triangle D, we have the measurements already. Already gave it uh, to us. I'll just redraw it to make it clear. We have 6 by 2. Area of a triangle equals base times height divided by 2. 6 times 2 divided by 2. 12 divided by 2. And 6. Now, I do a lot of steps, as you probably notice. Once you start understanding the formula a little bit, a little bit better and don't have to do so many calculations step by step, you can do some of them in your head, I would reduce that amount. I wouldn't get rid of this formulaic process of doing step by step, but I would reduce the amount of steps going forward. Just let you know. Okay, so triangle D we said was six, and now we just have to add 20 plus two plus four plus six. Well, I know six plus four is 10, plus 20 is 30, and then plus two is gonna give me 32. Oops, let's check it. One more to go. All right, this is another good shape. As you can see here, this is actually a trapezoid. So it's got two parallel bases, two slants, one, only one set of parallel sides. So we could call this one base one, base two. Um, add those together, times it by three, and then divide by two, and we're gonna get our, uh, we will get our answer from that. So just to give you an indication, this would be 15 times three after do base one plus base two, times the height, divide by two. Okay, this would give us 45 divided by 2. That N was at 22.5. So we'll check to see if we get 22.5 after we decompose this, as the name suggests, into two triangles. So we have this triangle right here. Okay, we'll start with that one. It looks like we don't have that much for it, but you can see we have a base. That's 10. Okay, it goes this way. And then we have a height. It's on the outside, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. We just want to know what is this distance between the base and the opposite vertex, also known as the apex, and it's three. And that's called our height. So we have area equals base times height divided by two. 10 times three divided by two. That's 30 divided by two, and that is 15. So we have 15 for triangle B. I start with B this time. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. And then for triangle A, Let's redraw this. This is a obtuse triangle, an obtuse triangle. We have five and then height of three. So area equals five times three divided by two. That's gonna be 15 over two or 7.5. So we're gonna add these two together and what do you know, we get the area of the trapezoid, 22.5. So we have 15 for B, 7.5, I got 7.5, right? Oops, good thing I checked. <clears throat> Not 75. Okay, and then I said 7.5, 15, and then 22.5. And that should do it. All right, so that's it for Decompose Area with Triangles. I hope you found this video helpful. If you need more help on other things, make sure to search in my YouTube channel for any of those videos or topics that you may desire, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.